welcome to a brief clip from GameSpot of Thrones. If you'd like to watch the full episode, head over to youtube.com slash GameSpot. Please beware of spoilers. So again, I thought this episode had a lot of setup. Mm. We, I mean, the last three episodes, they're also going to be longer, mm. which I'm really excited about because they have so much to get through. Um, but it's also things that we've been waiting seasons for yeah. are coming to a head. So I think Arya is a great place to start with this because I think this is the end of her Bravos. Her Bravos story arc, I guess. Yeah. Dave, you've got some great theories about this. So, obviously, you mentioned before what happened to Aya was that she was bold as brass going through the market, got stabbed, escaped, and we kind of don't know what's going to happen to her now. There are a couple of theories about what went on here because it felt very unnatural for Aya. Yeah. Um, a few people are thinking that it could be Jacken pretending to be Aya to test the waif. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's, I mean, it. it'd have to, you'd have to shrink down, right? Like, but no, I mean, that's the thing about the the faceless men is that they kind of have that weird ability to yeah. Because Arya, her face was used on a dead body before, right? When she, yeah. just before she went blind. Well, the piece of music that plays during the scene is called Vala Morghulis. So that's hinting mm. at a connection to the faceless men. Um, we also know that Jacken may have something of a soft spot for Arya. He like took her in, he helped her out killing yeah. the Lannisters and took her in when she finally came over to Bravos. And he tells the waif, don't let her suffer. Now, so I'm going to stab you multiple times in the well, stomach. Th- in that scene, she could have had the perfect opportunity to just cut her throat, yeah. end it. But instead, I think he's banking on the fact that the waif really dislikes her and goes for a slash and then the stomach. And the place where you want, the place you stab someone if you want them to suffer is the stomach. It can take days mm. to bleed yeah. out from a stomach wound or a stomach gunshot as we see in Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Let's get that re- reference in there. <laughs> um, so... It could be Jack and like testing the waif, seeing if the waif is kind of harboring a grudge, which obviously- She's not supposed to. Exactly. Yeah. But another theory, which I think may hold more water, is that Arya knew exactly what she was doing. She yeah. fully expected to be attacked by the waif. Yeah. Her mannerisms in this scene are much different to how she normally acts. She's very cocky, flashing her cash to draw her a- attention to herself. Is she holding needle as well? Is she going no, around? No, she is, she's unarmed. Yeah. Okay. She is like this though. Yeah. And and I have a theory as to that stance. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've gone in deep here. So she's drawing attention to herself, throwing all this money around. People in this area are obviously going to be drawn to, you know, cash being yeah, chucked money. about. Um, so I think that's exactly what she wants. She doesn't She doesn't have to escape this way. She doesn't have to pay a man to take her away. She could, she's she got the ninja abilities to sneak on a ship at night, stow away and get away. Yeah. yeah. When the waif approaches, wearing the face of an old woman, I was hanging out on the bridge. Sweet girl. <laughs> This location is chosen by Aya in advance because yeah. it has an escape route. Yeah. She could jump off the bridge and that's her out. Mm-hmm. Stabbing. Like, okay, people might say, well, she got stabbed. I think she knew she was going to get stabbed. Yeah, she, yeah, I think she might have been banking on the waif being We angry. see her get stabbed. We see her bleed. But who's she recently taken a shine to? Lady oh, Crane. Lady, Lady Crane. Crane. And who would you go to see if you wanted to act wounded it would not surprise me if the actors knew how to fake a wound for their plays maybe it's like a pig's bladder full of fake blood and that's what she's using to like kind of disguise and and make the wave think she's wounded so she's blood bloody stabbed wave thinks she's wounded her she falls into the water but the wave's got to confirm the kill right yeah when (laughs) you can't you can't you know you gotta pick up the dog exactly you can't get your contract banked (laughs) And the, when Aya escapes from the water, she's leaving a trail of blood. Mm. Mm. And when we see in the last episode at the end of it, she's got a needle. She's in a dark area mm. and she's kind of waiting. So I think Aya's led a trail yeah. to that dark area where the waif is going to expect a wounded, unarmed Aya. But Instead, really? really, it's Aya who's armed with needle yeah. who no one else knows about. She is completely fine. And she has the training to fight without her sight. She's in Matt Murdock mode. Waif is gone, get ruined. But also, like, whenever she's trained with Waif, it's always been with the staff, right? Yeah. Has the Waif ever shown any proficiency in sword fighting? Because we know that I had her training with yeah. Sword of Bravo, Serial Pharrell. Someone yeah. also did the, the freeze frames of the old woman's face. Yeah. And they've gone back a little while. And Aya actually sees the face the waif uses in the Hall of Faces. So she would immediately see this face and be like, I've seen that before. Yeah. You ain't real. So, I mean, do you think that Aya's really in trouble or is this just her master ninja plan finally coming I, to a It head? definitely feels like it's a ninja plan yeah. because it's just, 
it's contrary to everything she's learned so far. It's contrary to the way she behaves as a character. Yeah. You know, running into a trap, that kind of thing. It's it seems too reckless to be Aya. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there's something interesting happening, and I really like the idea of seeing her kind of combine her Siri Farrell training with yeah. her faceless men training using needle because she's be, she's always been using the kind of stuff and mm. she's never and, been good at yeah it. and she's she's been okay i mean she's there were points where she was taking the wave down and this is why she was blind so imagine what she can do when she can see or even is blinded and has needle which is a weapon suited to her she's a little more lithe she's a little more like balletic with that stuff she is gonna wreck some fools with that sword yeah. and it's gonna be awesome we don't even know if the wave had the whole blind thing because yeah. That was implied as it was a punishment yeah. for Aya for, um, r- like, she took down... Um, oh, uh, Meryn Trent. Yeah, yeah, and the punishment was to lose her sight. Yeah. yeah. So the Waif may never have had that. So she's going in, she's actually going in blind, but Aya is completely fine. I'm going to murder her some Waif. All right. All right.